Hey guys, what's up? This is the British Fanboy here, and may I say a very happy new year to you. That's right, it's now 2011, and, uh, well, it's 2011 if you follow the Christian calendar anyway, for that matter. And, happy new year everyone, I hope you enjoy it. 2010 has been quite interesting actually, you know, like I moved out of my parents' house, I voted in my first election, I've got a really good job and stuff like that, you know. YouTube has been big, you know, I opened up two channels and stuff, you know, so BFB vids and BFB comms are both going very well, it's all thanks to you guys, and I really hope that you guys continue to support me throughout 2011 and all of the other years, you know, to infinity and beyond, as they say. Oh, also to Toy Story 3 was released. Still haven't seen that film, actually, I really need to. I loved the first two, but I haven't seen the third, yes. Anyway, so, right now I'm recording this, and it's about quarter to two in the morning right now, you know, it's just... Because it's been very hard these last two days, of course, because um, New Year, all right, New Year's Eve, I was at work from um, from nine o'clock till half past six in the morning. Yeah, that's right, because um, obviously went to work at nine o'clock to do my glass collecting stuff, and uh, since it's New Year, the town has lifted the curfew for the night so everyone can stay out longer and stuff like that, and... Uh, yeah, I was at work for a very, very long time. It's just, we normally we close at about either one one thirty, quarter past one in the morning if it's really quite empty, or if it's quite busy, we'll close at two. But this time we stayed open till half past four, and then we had to tidy up and stuff and clean up and things, you know, because obviously people spill their drinks and drop their glasses and stuff like that. And also we had staff drinks and stuff, so it was seven o'clock in the morning by the time... I'd finished work. And then we had our staff party that was at 3 o'clock in the afternoon today on the 1st of January. So, um, yeah, so I got about maybe six hours sleep or something stupid like that because of, you know, I had to wake up earlier and stuff like that so I could get some food and stuff. Which I just ended up going to McDonald's in the end, which is so stupid of me. Because when I got to the staff party, there was lots of finger food. I'm like, okay, I actually didn't need to get this McDonald's. Oh dear. But, uh, yeah, that's how it went. And also, the day before New Year's Eve, I had to work then as well, but luckily it was really dead, so it wasn't really too hard. But, uh, yeah, that's how work goes. It's often the st and the staff party was quite interesting, actually, because um, the staff party, I actually managed to leave a bit earlier, because I turned up at 3 o'clock, I was the first one there, and um, I think I only had to wait like 20 minutes for other members of staff to keep showing up and stuff, and... Uh, it was really, really good fun, you know, there was lots of food and there was some drink and stuff there and we had the karaoke machine going, we got one of the DJs at the club to come in and she pulled the karaoke machine on and stuff like that, it was good, good fun and uh, yes, I did do karaoke and I, I'm well aware you guys have heard my singing voice on my last Battlefield Vietnam commentary but, uh, you know, it's karaoke so it really doesn't matter in that case, it's not like I'm entering a competition or whatever, is it, so, yeah oh yeah, and if you guys are interested, I sang Hotel California by the Eagles. I actually asked for Heaven by Brian Adams, so I have no idea why the hell they gave me Hotel California. I guess when I wrote down the numbers of the songs and stuff, what CDs they're on, I got the numbers mixed up or whatever, so I ended up getting Hotel California. But that's still a brilliant, brilliant song, so I was okay with doing Hotel California. And I did When You Were Young by the Killers. I did that with someone else who worked there. That was a good laugh, that was. And later on in the night, I did Sex on Fire by Kings of Leon, again with someone else who worked there. So, good day for karaoke and stuff, and it was good fun, good, good fun. And, like I said, I left at 8 o'clock, and, you know, my roommate, my housemate, has just got back, and he got in at half past one. So, some of you may say, British fanboy, why did you go home so early? I was just so tired, you know, I was knackered. And, you know, some people may say, oh, I can be up all night and stuff. Well, I can't, basically. You know, I enjoy sleeping too much, and I get too tired too quickly to just be out all night and stuff. On a night out, when most people go home, they'll go home at, like, 2 o'clock, maybe. I'm normally home by maybe half past 12 or, like, 10 past 1, something like that, normally. Purely because I... I just enjoy my sleep so much, you know, I need it, I really do, and uh, that's just how it goes really, but you know, I still enjoyed the party and stuff, and still got to chat to all my mates from work and stuff like that, but the actual, oh, oh dear, New Year's Eve, the actual working on New Year's Eve was so chaotic, it really, really was, because, let me, let me just give an example of how chaotic it was. 
this was about maybe 20 past 11, yeah. And then when I was cleaning up some broken glass on my dance floor, some girl decided to put my head in her dress. That basically sums up what the night was like, pretty much, and, uh, yeah, it was a good night it, it, at times like that. Yeah. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. There goes Christmas Eve and stuff, and, uh, let me do some talk about the gameplay now. I asked in my last commentary, which was a, a Codpops commentary, what if you, do you actually like long commentaries, and what would you like to see next? And a lot of you guys said, yeah, we really like the long commentaries, and we would like to see some more Battlefield Vietnam, so... Here you are, and the first half of this game wasn't very good, but now I kind of go into uber elite sniper mode, and I start to try to get my long distance shots. I've already mentioned it before, but sniping in Battlefield with Bad Company 2 Vietnam is a lot harder, purely because there's so much, so many trees and environments, buildings and stuff, you know, so it's harder to see people at longer distances, and also there's more cover for them, so even if you do see them, the odds of you hitting them are still a bit smaller. And not to mention that the weapons do feel less accurate at really long ranges and stuff, because the best shot I ever got in Battlefield Bad Company, I got over 560 marksman points for it, I think. And that was a really, really far shot, you know. I had to angle my gun at like a 45, ang 45 degree angle for the bullet to drop down and then get a headshot on someone. That was the one time I wasn't recording, you know. I've gone to the habit now of recording every online multiplayer game I play, Purely because the one time I don't record will be the time I get an awesome sniper shot like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, luckily, things like Call of Duty and Uncharted 2 save your games on, a, on the cloud, so that's not bad. But for things like Battlefield Vietnam or whatever, I've actually got to save it myself. But, yeah, never mind. And, uh, yeah, I actually had a shorter game of Battlefield Vietnam, which is actually a better score than this one as well. And it was a bit more action-packed, but... I just wanted to show off a sniping game, and also I wanted to send that slightly shorter game to uh, to LGU because LGU are really, really good, and I know, you know, like I just said, they're really, really good, but they haven't got any Battlefield Vietnam on there or any Battlefield for that matter, I don't think. So I thought, okay, maybe they're just reluctant to put it on, but you know, I, so I sent them a game, not and it wasn't too long, so you know, all the people who enjoy like short. Call of Duty commentaries, you know, like eight, nine minutes long max, they'll still be happy, you know what I'm saying? Here we go, this is where Uber Elite sniping mode comes into play. I just stay in this one area and people just don't see me, you know. I think I managed to stay here for quite a while before someone finally, you know, gets smart and picks me off. But that's just the way it works with sniping and stuff. A good sniper won't get seen, but will always see how many people are around. Oh, oh, I've got to tell you about this, yeah. Uh, did anyone else experience this glitch? But the other day, on Battlefield Vietnam, for some reason, every time I pressed the select button, or I don't know if it's the same for the Xbox, I doubt it's the same because they're different platforms or whatever, but every time I press the select button so I can, you know, mark my target reticule, so, you know, the recon kind of assist thing, my character would throw a grenade. It's like, whoa, what the hell? You know, press select and he started cooking a grenade and it blew me up. And then... Later on, when I actually went to throw a grenade with L2, he pulled the pin, but then didn't throw it. So I had this weird grenade glitch going on. It's like, whoa, what the hell is this? And it really made the game unplayable. Because you, you know how important spotting your enemies is with the select button in Battlefield. And obviously, pull L2 to throw a grenade, and you just hold it until it explodes. You know, that that's not good. And I tried it on other games, you know, just to see if the select button on my controller wasn't quite right. Other games, the select button worked fine, and I also took off some of the modifications on my controller and stuff to see if any of them were, like, jamming the buttons together or something. But no, everything was fine, and but for some reason, it's all gone now. All these glitches are now gone. I can only assume there was, like, some overnight patch, because I'm a member of PlayStation Plus, so it means that any updates just get downloaded overnight through my PS3. I don't have to manually go to the install button and tell it to install. It does it all by itself, which is a nice feature, but uh, it's up to you if you want to pay for that. I didn't buy it for that reason, obviously. I bought it for betas and stuff mainly, or betas. But, um, just betas? No, I'm so Oh dear, that was awful. Oh, what can I say? You know, I'm tired. I'm hoping doing this commentary will actually make me tired so I can go to sleep, because I just really want to go to sleep. Because, you know, Head hurts, you know, because of some alcohol and stuff we had earlier. I didn't have too much, but I didn't eat any food, so... 
And obviously, you know, that's not good. But, uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in, guys. I should be getting, you know, some more money soon. I got a huge paycheck this week because of all the hours I did over Christmas. And I'll get one which isn't quite as big but still pretty big because of all the extra hours I've done over New Year. We've got to love the holiday season, haven't we, people? Yes, yes. Lots of paychecks, yes. And it also means I've now got a new shift at work as well because one of our other people who works there... He got the sack on New Year's Eve purely because he obviously went out and took some ease or something because he started talking shit and breaking stuff and jumping around in you know areas full of glass and stuff. And I mean like the glass collector room or whatever. So very, very smart. You know, you've now lost your job. And he was the laziest fuck on earth as well. You know, it's just every single time we would see him, he would be chilling out or whatever while I was doing all the hard work. So, uh, yeah, good riddance. I enjoy having your shift. Or I will. Anyway, but because, you know, it means I'll get, like, what? Who? 90 pounds a week now, which is a lot better than, you know, the 59 or so, which I would normally get. No. How much would I get? 60 pounds? Uh, yeah, yeah, about 90 pounds a week if I have three times. But it does mean it will also be a little bit harder because sometimes, you know, even though he wasn't a good at his job, Having just an extra person to help collect glasses and stuff did help a bit, so for that reason it could be a bit worse, but, you know, we'll just get another person, you know, a good person, you know, someone who can actually do work without complaining or without being rude. He was like one of these, like, oh, I'm so hard idiots, you know, kind of chavvy, and, you know, I can't stand those freaks, but, uh, you know, like, seriously, you know, I can't stand them. Just piss off and grow up, all of you, and, um... But that's just the way it goes, I suppose. I can't really do anything about that. And there we go. There's the end of the game. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit depressed. I'm not very enthusiastic in this commentary. But, you know, like I've said, I'm hoping this commentary will make me tired so I can go to sleep. Because my body's tired and my head's tired. But I'm just not sleeping. You know, I've been trying to sleep for hours. But it just hasn't worked. So, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. This was British Fanboy. And remember to subscribe to British Fanboy Vids and British Fanboy Comms, which obviously is this channel. And, uh, yeah. Have a happy 2011, people. I hope I do. I really, really do hope I do. I really don't want a bad one. Why would I, of course? Alright, so see you around. British Fanboy out.